This is Tim Talks About Everything, and today we're going to talk about the demise of the piano. So many pianos that are out there, just people have had pianos in their home, and for some reason or another, nobody wants a piano anymore. You can't even give them away. And we have this wonderful little piano here. It's an acrosonic. It's got a wonderful sound, and it's got a great history. It was given to my, my wife's grandma by her grandpa on their 25th wedding anniversary. And that was 70 years ago. And it's still going strong. It's amazing how beautiful this, this old piano is. And it does have a little bit of history even beyond that. I mean, that's the most sentimental part of it. But the other thing that happened was one of our kids, when he was little, took his little, I don't know if it was army men or some kind of men and was playing a game and playing away. And he decided that they should be banging on these keys and so he broke almost every single one of the edges of these keys which uh, I suppose got him into a lot of trouble at the time I don't know exactly what happened to him but I mean it was uh, it was pretty destructive really when you when you take a look at this he, he left about 16 though that didn't have a complete uh, big chip in it so acrosonic is the brand and it has a wonderful sound and the last song that's going to be played on this is going to be silent night Well, that was nice. And uh, I will say that one other thing happened that was kind of interesting with this piano. It survived a fire. It got caught on fire by my dad and I. We were changing a light fixture in a part of the house, very, very near where the piano was. And my dad didn't notice that there was a little candle that had been lit that was sitting on the, the uh, piano. And he set some instructions down, the instructions for I think installing the light fixture that we were installing. He set it down and we were working away and all of a sudden somebody said, the piano's on fire. And sure enough, we looked around and whatever it was that he had set down by that candle, it had started on fire. And so we very quickly put that out. But this, uh, this piano has been a survivor. And unfortunately, after 70 years, it's gonna be retired. We're not very happy about that. We're pretty sad, but nobody wanted it. And even though we tried to give it away even, uh, we still weren't able to give it away. So we're gonna retire it with dignity. Here's the spot that was burnt, if you wanna take a look at that. But uh, it's a pretty nice little piano and uh, we're gonna be sad for it to go. But we realized that we're not gonna be able to keep it forever and we need to downsize and so off it goes. Bye. Goodbye, piano. Really, I marvel at the intricacy, the workmanship, everything that goes into a piano. Just amazing. 70 years ago, and... amazing how well made this thing is. All right, I'm continuing to take this piano apart. And again, I am so amazed at how intricate everything is and how well made everything is. Now, so far all I've used is the screwdriver, pair of pliers, crescent wrench, and everything is coming apart. I, so far I haven't found anything that's glued together. 
I found these amazing little dowel rods that held the pedals in the right position. And I'm saving a few pieces of wood along the way because I might have a little uh, project. But now we have three stories as to how these things came to be damaged. Now, they, these are the ones that are still in good shape, but uh, our son said, our, the culprit who broke the keys, said that it was Luke, Sco Luke Skywalker that did it. That Luke Skywalker was prancing along the, the uh, keys and that he was the one who actually broke the tips of the keys off. And my wife says that it was our son with his little wooden hammer that he had in his little tool bench that every kid has had that little wooden tool bench and you have the pegs and you drive the pegs in. And she said he went over to the piano at some point and banged on that, broke almost every one. But uh, our son says it's Luke Skywalker. So, you know, I would say, though, it, it couldn't have been Luke. It maybe was Darth Vader, but certainly not Luke. So we're moving right along here. I've got this board out and I've got the pedals out. The pedals are right there. This is the hardware that I've removed so far. And I will continue to update our progress. All right, we're just going to remove this. I got all the screws out that holding that in. Some people are making things, making little like uh, key hooks and various things with these pieces of the piano. And I don't think I'm going to be doing that, but I might. And then I, I do think I'm going to run into a roadblock here because these jobs here, I have tried a whole bunch of sockets and I can't find anything that is going to work on those. So I may have to take everything apart and leave that on there, leave that on the soundboard and uh, either try to get it into a dumpster myself or call somebody and have them haul it away because that is going to be really heavy. All right, this came up in one fell swoop, which is amazing to me. So I'm getting closer and closer. This back here though, I don't dare tamper with that because I don't want a piano string cut my arm off. I don't know what it would actually happen, but I'll bet it's uh I bet it's a dangerous piece. All these little pieces, this is just totally amazing. I need to watch a video on how they make pianos because this is incredible. All these tiny little pieces, all this felt and everything. My goodness gracious. It's a marvel. These are the guys. <laughs> the strong guys, the strong men. This is the piano going away. Whoa. All right. Well, that's Very it. Very cool. We'll Ready to go. Woohoo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, man. Uh oh. Okay, here are the strong men, and they survived. <laughs> Yay! Two, two strong men, one weak man. <laughs> yeah, we won't say which one. <laughs> okay, that's All right, good. Thanks, man.